Okay, welcome back to the Angelus module library tutorial. This is 2.5, working with sequencers. As always, I will read through the patch first and then we'll talk a little bit about it. So I'm gonna zoom in over here. This example shows how to use a sequencer with a VCO module by adding three helper tiles that all do something to the signal coming from the sequencer. Okay, first the sequencer creates a modulation signal ranging from zero to one. So you can see it outputs a modulation signal. This is zero and this is one. Next, the mod to octile translates the modulation signal into an octave signal and scales both its range and number of octaves and uh, offset, the starting note. So there's the starting note and its range. After that, the quantizer takes those raw values from the mod to uh, octile and then snaps them to a scale. Feel free to change the scale to whatever you want. We'll play around with this a little later. Okay. Finally, the slew limiter tile adds a little glide in between each note. This isn't strictly necessary, but it's fun, a uh, fun little addition to get some more expressive transitions between notes. You can notice how the transition between each value become more gradual the more you turn up the lin, uh, linear slew control. All right, you can kind of see there's already, there's a little, it's not just immediately up and down, there's a little whoop, kind of up to it. Um, all right, so some fun parameters to play with around here. The, uh, on the envelope, the time uh, control, the multi-mode VCF, the hertz control, we can push that up a little bit, uh, the two poly knobs, the one, two, and the out that is controlling the delay like we uh, learned about in uh, the previous tutorial. So I'm gonna turn up the patch. So it's, it's basically almost just one or two notes that it's covering. Right? And then we can change this offset here so that it's starting at a pretty low note right now. We can shift the entire sequence up so it's, it's covering this range, right? And we can shift that up or down with that. So is we can change the scale, right? So we can change the type of scale. It's the root note or the type. Okay, and then the slew limiter, and this is adjusting the glide in between each note. So if I, I'll increase it a lot so you can hear what it's really doing. So with this one control, it's as if I'm taking all four of these controls and moving them up at, in concert with each other. Okay. And uh, we can change the hertz here, right? The cutoff. If you have it really 
subtle like this, it, it's almost like a reverb at this point. Right. And it's cool, we can actually turn this feedback all the way up, and then we'll just have this infinite uh, reverb sound. is that you're seeing what you've just learned in the previous few tutorials uh, just laid out here. This is why you you have the octave signal and this is why you, you start with the modulation signal and then can translate it into the octave signal because here, again, if this was, if the sequencer just worked with octave signals, for one, I couldn't use this modulation signal to do cool things like modulate the, the pulse width, right? So I can right here, change it to a different... Um, so every every pitch, the, the higher the pitch goes, the the shape changes there, right? And that makes the sequencer more useful if you can keep it as modulation. That you can use it for modulating different things as well uh, as um, creating pitches. So if we had this was covering the whole octave range from negative five to five, again, this small sequence that you have here would be kind of scrunched where everything would be right, you know, in the middle and it would be hard to tune any notes. Uh, with this, by, by uh, being able to translate the signal into whatever range and whatever starting point you want, you're able to use the entire width of the faders on the sequencer so that you have a little more room to tune things as you're as you're playing around with the, the synth. So I encourage you to explore this patch. This one's a lot of fun. Uh, it really combines a lot of things together that you've uh, learned about so far. And uh, you know, you'll just be learning more and more as you keep going through these tutorials. There's a few more left in the uh, VCO that will explore stuff like uh, uh, the, uh, how to use all these controls on the big VCO module and you know what uh, frequency modulation is and uh, how to expand your sonic palette by using these uh, different types of VCOs. Okay, so I will see you on the next tutorial. Thanks. <laughs>